Hello everybody, this is Shikhar here from testingpool.com. So uh, this is Lean FT tutorial part one. Uh, the first question will come into mind like what is Lean FT first? Uh, if you would have heard about the tool UFT or QTP, actually both are same, but UFT is the latest version of QTP. Um, QTP was renamed to UFT, uh, that is Unified Functional Testing. Uh, the tool is basically used for uh, testing the f uh, functional, like f it is uh, used for functional testing and uh, uh, now HP has released one more version which is called uh, 12.5. So Lean FT is basically actually a feature uh, they have added uh, newly uh, which is coming with the UFT 12.5 version. And uh, it is basically a functional testing solution uh, which is focused more on continuous testing and continuous integration. So, uh, and very good uh, feature is like you can configure it with Eclipse and Visual Studio as well now. So you do not you do not require also UFT if you suppose you do not have UFT. So that is fine. You can configure it with Eclipse and Visual Studio as well. And uh, you can program you you can pro write the program in Java as well as in C Sharp as well. And uh, the re actual minimum requirement for Eclipse uh, is 4.3, which is Kepler, and the recommended will be Eclipse 4.4, which is Luna, and uh, the greater version like 4.5, which is the latest version now of Eclipse. And if you talk about Visual Studio, so minimum requirement is like Visual Studio 2012 and recommended would be 2013. Um, so you will be able to configure Lean FT uh, with both the tools like Eclipse and as well as uh, Visual Studio. So uh, the thing is, uh, you can you have the option to download Lean FT separately and then uh, we can configure it with the Eclipse or Visual Studio. So in this tutorial we will see like how to install separately and uh, Eclipse with Eclipse, uh, configure it with Eclipse. So uh, next thing is the question is like do we require UFT QTP for installing NeanFT? Uh, as I already told, um, uh, no. If you have UFT then uh, either you, you can buy UFT 12.5 or you can upgrade your uh, already existing UFT to 12.5 then Lean FT will be totally free. So they are providing Lean FT totally free if you have 12.5 UFT 12.5 and yes uh, before installing Lean FT there is some prerequisite you should have Java and Eclipse at your system. Uh, if you don't know how to install Java and Eclipse I have uh, uh, made another video which you can access in testingpool.com channel and now the next point will be install lean ft so let's start uh, let's start it how let's see how to install lean ft just go to the browser and simply say download lean ft and you will see the first link like sas.hp.com so click on that link open that As you can see here, uh, this is Lean uh, Functional Testing, and uh, from here you can actually uh, install Lean FT. But before that, you have to sign up. So there is sign up is free. Sign up for a free account. Click on that, and here's the sign up page where you need to enter some personal detail like first name, last name, email, your phone number. You need to select the country and agree to their term. So and click on sign up. So after you sign up, you will get an email with the activation link. So I'll show you how it will look like. What are the next steps? So this is the message you will get after sign up. Check your email. So to complete and sign up process, check your mail and look for the email from us. Here, the next thing is like you will get the mail like this, where you need to click on the confirm email button. After confirming email, you will come to the next window like congratulation window where you need to uh, again sign in so after signing signing in uh, you will get uh, getting a started window so uh, you can close it as of now you don't need to go into that so our first priority is like we need to install lean ft after closing this window you need to go to more products and select lean ft from that so after selecting lean ft 
you will come on this page where you need to click try me click on that button so it will take you to this screen uh, with a one more button called next so click next and go to my account after that you will come on this page where you will have the download link so from here click on download so uh, you will be uh, lean FT will start downloading and after downloading you will get a file like this this is the file setup file so you need to double click on this to start okay so this is the window which will get after that um, it will ask you to save the files like after installing whatever uh, its required file where it will be saved so if you want you have the option to change the folder you can click on the change and you can select the desired folder wherever you want to store the files so after that I'll let it selecting Okay, because I have already installed it so that's why it is giving me option for overwriting it so I'll not overwrite uh, right now I'll say no to all you will get the setup wizard okay so click on next so as I told you like I've already installed it so that's why it is giving me option to change repair remove but just to show you I'll click on change right now but you will not get these options you have to click next and you will come to this window after clicking next so here is the most important part uh, you select this option full installation and as we are configuring, uh, configuring it with Eclipse, so select this option, select this checkbox, and uh, for you, this change option will be enabled. Uh, this button, change. So click on this change button and select the path where wherever you have kept the Eclipse folder or Eclipse file. So you need to select uh, that path where your Eclipse resides. So this is very important then only it will be configured with Eclipse and then say change or you will have the option like next so I'll pause the video for some time till the time it will install it okay so here it has been installed as you can see uh, the last window uh, with a finish button uh, I'll click on finish okay so that means uh, lean FT has been installed so the next part would be like uh, how to configure it with Eclipse so let's see how to configure it for that you need to go to Eclipse Just bear with me, it is taking some time to open. Yeah, 
as you can observe on eclipse window like loading com.hp.lft. commands so that means it is configuring leanft with that it should open leanft as well inside eclipse okay so it has opened uh, eclipse um, if you'll observe here you will see one option here lean ft in the menu bar few options enable lean ft help object identification and all is not enable default you will see this message here lean ft runtime engine active that means lean ft runtime engine started this is important remember that and it might be the case uh, it will be enabled by default for you and you will get this option disable lean ft if you have this option that means lean ft is working properly for you okay so let's see how to create a project and with lean ft here for that go to package explorer in eclipse and right click on that go to new and select the option others after selecting the option you can see lean ft under your uh, other options like and under lean ft you have uh, lean ft j unit project lean ft j unit test case so we'll see uh, what are these both so as of now select lean ft j unit project you need to give a project name let's see first lean ft project package give some package com dot testing okay after giving package and project name just click finish below in the window okay so you can see the project has been created if you go to this project source you will see two folders here the package which we have created this package having uh, one class called unit test you can see this class as a setup file uh, from lean ft itself you have this file if you extend this file in your classes you um, it will take care of everything like it will support uh, html report you can uh, set up uh, initial setup it will do for you so you don't need to worry about it and as you can see here like before test after test test setup test tear down and class tear down it has generate report these have uh, this class has these kind of methods and uh, if you're using to extend this class into your um, with your scripts let's go to lean ft as you see it has given few annotation by default which are before class after class and test and test where you will be writing your script and just if you observe one thing uh, it is extending the same class unit test class base so basically you can say this is the base class which will be uh, uh, which will be will be extending in all the classes wherever you are uh, uh, writing the script so and the question is if it is mandatory you have to extend it that this is the only framework uh, answer is no if you want to create your own framework uh, you have the option to create it we'll see this option in later tutorials so not as of now so next thing is i as i as we have seen like there were one more there, were, there was one more option which was uh, for test so let's see how to do this go to new again uh, right click on the folder name go to new and go to others again and this time we will select J unit test case. Let's see what will happen. Give the default name. Let it be default right now. And give the test 
test one or give the package name also com dot testing same the select package set the same package sorry <laughs> okay so as you can see here on the left side the test has been created for this okay so what is this test let's go to this so as you can see it is, has the same structure as we have created the test case with the project itself so this test one also has so this is the way you can add more and more test cases uh, as much you want okay so this is this is it like how to uh, install NFT and how to configure it with uh, Eclipse so basically you don't need to configure it will automatically take care of everything okay so next thing is if uh, suppose you are uh, writing one script and you're opening one uh, opening the browser you're testing uh, your application the browser like Chrome Firefox Internet Explorer so uh, the as Selenium does like it will uh, directly uh, you you just open the browser you create the uh, drivers for that Firefox driver and all but in this case you cannot directly use those browsers there are some prerequisite which we will see in the next tutorial so as of now uh, I will stop it here and if you have more query if you want to know more about testing tutorials there are some uh, free testing tu tutorial on my website which is testingpool.com www.testingpool.com there you can have free tutorials on selenium UFT and more on SQL uh, Informatica so and you can put the comments if you have any uh, concern or suggestions for me so as of now thank you for that I'll stop it